Okay, this is deep stretch. Um, we're gonna work on the hips and the low back. Um, some ringing out and yeah, we'll make it juicy and gooey. Two blocks of blanket. If you have other props, you can always add those in if you um, have a way you prefer to maybe utilize them. And let's get started in on our backs and constructive rest. So constructive rest is feet together or feet apart, knees together. So your feet planted as such. They're wider than your hips, okay? Knees come together and then you're just gonna give yourself a hug around the chest with the arms. Get comfortable. Notice how you're feeling, any thoughts coming up? Any energy from your day, your week, your weekend, um, anything we're feeling from it, caring, consciously, subconsciously, you know, indirectly from our experiences. Uh, just observe it, take note of it. Let's take a deep breath in. And then exhale, soften the shoulders. Let's switch which arms on top. And for probably, you know, about five cycles of breath, we'll just Hug with the opposite arm. Notice how that feels. You know, if you like fell on the ice, um, one side might feel a little different than the other. Finishing your last round of breath or so. Unwind the arms. Uh, let's let them fall out to this side, like wings, stretch them out. And bring your feet together. Let's take the hips over to the left slightly, and then drop the knees over to the right, twisting. And then if you want to add a block um, underneath or between the legs, you know, it might feel nice to keep this a little more supported there, starting a little more subtle, soft. The closer your thigh bones to your torso, typically the deeper the stretch of the twist. So pick how you'd like to take it. We'll take three more deep cycles of breathing. So inhaling, maybe to five, six, or seven building. This week we've been talking about progressive um, progression to build upon. What's your breath like now? A little more attention, a little more intention. And after that third exhale, if you've taken your gaze off to the side, let's lift it up through center. Let's bring the knees, your hips, your soles, everything through the middle as you breathe in. Pause for a moment, feel your toes. All, all of them, you know, press them into the ground, lift them up, wiggle them. Feel your soles, feel this moment. We'll take an exhale, long and deep. And then scooting your hips now to the right so the knees can fall over to the left. You may choose to pick up the head and turn it. Moving props, adding props. What you've done on one side doesn't have to be the exact same on the other. So give yourself that room. Our 
pose of the week is Balasana in this uh, yin style class, resting, restorative. So we'll be taking that in a bit. But let's open up first, right? It's that the Balasana child's pose is that downward, inward upon ourselves, within ourselves. And then in this way, we're kind of slowly expanding out. Bringing out, take your last cycle of breath. Feel it into the collarbone, the twisting through the gut. And then you'll inhale, look to the ceiling, bring the knees through the center, your feet, your hips. Yeah. Come to the moment, check in. How do you feel? What's going on? A big breath in, a full breath out. And then gently, let's hug the knees into the chest. Squeeze them in. Let's add a little movement. So hands to the kneecaps. And we'll take uh, four circles, five circles, clockwise or counterclockwise. And then you'll take them in the other direction. Just feel what goes on in the low back as you um, move the legs further and closer from the body, or from the torso. And then finally, we'll rock a little side to side. Let's just add a happy baby while we're here. Bend your knees, but let's make it soft. So knees towards your armpit, grab a hold of your shins. Uh, I like to bring the palms of my hands to right beneath my ankles even on my shins and just gently tug in. You can lift the tailbone up, reaching the knees down and out. It doesn't have to be very active in the groin. And then maybe rocking the tailbone forward, letting the feet come a little further away from you, the knees further away from you. And finally, knees back in together, tip over onto your side, whichever side. And come on up to seated. Okay, if you have your blanket, let's add that baby in. You're going to um, bring your hips, your pelvis to the end of it, the edge of it how high up you want that, just to give yourself a slight tilt here. And then let's take the left leg over to the left, slightly right heel into your groin. You've got that block handy, um, one or two blocks. You can bring those as we prep for Jabba Shishasana. So you're just going to slowly soften those left toes, bring your left leg, and then begin to fold forward. And I'm going to suggest maybe resting your forearms somewhere where your shoulders uh, don't shrug up but can fall apart. And then all you have to do is just gently tuck the chin. Keep it a little taller, allowing ourselves to stretch the low back. Really breathe into it. Feel the expansion of the lungs. Create the stretch in the, in the back body. You can feel it, this progress of our breath from your low back up to the upper back and even energetically to the neck and shoulders. Allow the exhale to soften you. We'll stay here for a couple minutes. So uh, make it comfortable. Notice where the tension creeps in. Sometimes we uh, practice this more consistently in an active class, like a yang practice, right? Those where the effort and movements, I want you to try to be subtle where those typical flexions and those efforts are where that right butt cheek would be squeezed and that left foot would be in flexion. I want you to soften. Try to let go a little bit. So you hold the pose. The progress is to slowly check when the tension creeps in. So consciously and then let it go. Observe your breath. And 
notice any places you might be feeling tightness, tension, a lot of sensation. Take a scan and maybe note where you don't feel as much sensation. It might feel a little dull. Full breath in. A long breath out. Let your chin tuck in a little bit more towards your chest. And just walk your hands in to support yourself as you check. Uh, as you stack your spine up. Let's just sit up tall. You can even bring those blocks in front of you, bring them under the hands to kind of help you stay. Uh, your spine get long and erect, and exhale. Let the shoulders melt away. Breathe in. Breathe out. And we'll twist now. So. You have your block, you could bring one in front of you or even in front of your right knee and then bring one behind you. Right hand will rest on a block. Your left hand can rest on a block slightly to the left, in the middle, depending on how far you want to take this into the twist. And we're going to twist over to our right. So gently looking back behind you over the right shoulder. We won't hold this nearly as long. Let's just take three deep breaths in and out. Fill up, inhale, sitting tall. Exhale. Drawing the left ribs towards right ribs. Maybe dropping the chin down, breathing in, filling up. Exhale. Last one, deep breath in. Sigh it out. And then just slowly unwind your center. And let's just switch it up nice and easy. We'll take the right leg over to the right. Your blocks can come to frame at that right leg. Left heel into the ground. And notice if your pelvis kind of shifted on the blanket, let's move it to the edge and soften the arch of your right foot, soften the arch of your left foot. You might need the blocks to be taller on the side or lower. Using the exhale to gently fold. We're going to let your shoulder blades um, fall apart. Breathe in. That low back, mid back, back of your heart, top of your shoulders. Exhale, allow your belly to soften. In the yin practice, our progress is time, right? We're here for 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 50 seconds. The pose stays and the time goes. We have that chance to check in. How are we doing? Where are we feeling it? You might notice similar sensations from when we've done this in the past, the same pose, maybe new ones depending on what you know, you've been up to. And the mind does progress, right? The chatter, the thoughts, as we're here with ourselves, time keeps going. Stillness in the body, then uh, sometimes the, me the mental stuff wants to move along and build upon. We're just slowing down. And then taking our time coming back. We're here for just a little while longer. The time progresses and the thoughts come and go. You may notice sudden places in the body become tense. Um, the jaw, the hip flexors, the navel, the glute, and any tendencies in this pose. So take note of them, breathe, decide if you want to change anything. We'll stay for three more inhales and exhales.
Breathe deeply, nice, fill, 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 way to the back, mid back, upper back. And then exhale, gently side out, tucking the chin in a little bit more. You can start to walk those hands in. Nicely done. And we'll take it into a, into a long twist. So if you don't have blocks, you can just take this in the standard twist, right? But if you have blocks, I'm going to suggest, encourage that you use them to help you stay tall. Um, now that way the low body can stay soft. We're knee out to your left now. Left hand on a block behind you. I keep it on a tall setting and even one underneath the right hand. It could be directly in front of you or closer to that left knee. Take three cycles of breath in and out. Notice where the breath naturally goes, maybe where it resists. Last one, deep breath in. You can ring it out, sigh it out. And then slowly come to center. Let's find our legs just both long in front of us, shake them out. You know, we've done um, this week with a lot of the, the wheel postures. Um, the hip legs are opening, but it, as we sit and we fold, I wanna kind of give them a moment. So uh, let's take a reverse table. It doesn't have to be super aggressive, but hands behind your hips. I like to point my fingers towards my waist, okay? Elbows slightly in, feet planted on the ground, toes forward, and then just lifting up the pelvis. You could just keep looking forward. And it might even feel nice to kind of rock a little. Breathing in, think shoulder heads slightly apart. Notice where you plant in your hands, maybe where you don't plant in your hands. Same thing with your feet, where you feel in your soles, where don't you feel? Deep, deep breath in. And then exhale, set your foot down. All right, our first pigeon we're gonna do is seated pigeon. So um, you can turn your hands back now. You can even walk your feet a little further away. I would say let's keep our block, let's keep a block or so close by. You can sit on a blanket if you'd like. Um, I'm just, my butt feels cozy, so I'm gonna stay on this one. <laughs> and let's lift our right leg away. Point flex your toes a couple times. Ooh. Notice where you might feel that. Okay, I'm feel ice ball. Um, <laughs> exhale, bend right knee in towards your chest. Gently swinging that right ankle on top of the left thigh. And for a moment, I want you to flex the right toes and press that right knee away and reach your chest towards your shin. So your hands are, you're kind of in a slight back bend here, extension of the spine getting longer in the front end. And the heart's reaching for the shin. You might feel that, you can even rock it a little bit. You can get on that left heel, and just rock. Your hips a little side to side, right to left. So the left toes would point up to the ceiling, moving on the heel like it's a ball, not that. You don't know what I'm trying to say, but we'll figure it out. And set that left foot down if it's lifted, set the sole down. And now start to walk your hands in. Soften your right toes, so no longer in that active flexion, and really reach your chest forward towards your shin. And this might be where the blocks come in handy. You can, I like to turn my uh, collarbone slightly out, so you can take them even at an angle, bringing them so you press down so you don't dump into your back, extending the arms by pressing into the blocks and seeing if your chest gets a little closer to the shin. Are we feeling that in our hips? You might just have to shake your head, yeah. Okay, let's hold it for three, inhale, and exhale. Notice if you have this tendency to really activate your right toes, um, maybe even try pointing up. See what that does, get a little wild. Breathe in. Notice if you point one foot, if the other one wants to do something, if it like tries to follow along, breathe out. That's why I suggest softening, soften the arches of the right foot. Try to soften your left glute. Open, oh, start getting that right hip. Uh, 
I lost count, so let's take one more deep breath in. Crown reaching away from sit bones. Notice if those shoulders are up. Gently let them fall. Exhale, hands come off of your blocks. Walk your hands back. Bend your elbows slightly so your chest gets away. And then bring that right leg back in towards the chest. Straighten that right leg out. Straighten your left leg out. Shake them out. Toes in and out. Let's find stillness, hands to the legs, sit up tall, press your sit bones down, take a deep breath in. Maybe you shrug your shoulders up and exhale. Let them come down. Okay, walk those hands back, walk those feet in. Uh, they don't have to be quite close, right? Think a little further away than normal. And inhale, extend your left leg, point and flex a couple times with the ankle, foot. Then you'll exhale. Bend that left knee towards the chest, hooking the ankle on the thigh. And you can help it out. Leave flex the left toes. Try to take them back towards um, your left knee. And then reaching your chest towards your left shin. Breathing in, breathing out. You can lift your right toes. So the sole of the right foot peels up so you're on the back of the heel. And then you can rock on that heel like a ball bounder, like a ball socket, even though that's not what it is. Uh, and that way you can shake the hips a little bit side to side. Breathing in, chest reaching for that left leg, breathing out, heart opening, you can even lift your chin up, the top of your shoulders can support the back of your neck, that might feel nice. One more inhale, you're rocking, let's settle, let's set that right sole down as you breathe out. And then maybe grabbing those blocks or keeping them close under. You want to press the chest towards the left shin and soften the arch of the left foot. Reach the outer left knee forward energetically if you can, so it's away from you, that outer left knee crease. Notice the tension is crept into the navel. Try to soften, soften the jaw, soften the shoulders. Take a deep, deep breath in. Full breath out. Two more of those on your own. If you exhale, coming off of the blocks, you can walk those hands back. I turn the fingers back towards my waist so I can bend my elbows back and then reach that left leg off. Set that left leg down, set that right leg down. Shake it out. There you go. Okay. Just sit up tall, take a deep breath in. Exhale, sigh away, let it go. Let's find a comfortable seated posture, something cross-legged. We're gonna take a little bit of, a little quicker movement for a moment. And so if you wanna sit on a block, you can do that. Get the hips really nice and above the knees. Yes. Left hand can come onto the fingertips beside you. Right hand again, fingertips. You might just barely be grazing the ground. Press your sit bones down. And for, let's for a moment tuck that tailbone. You can walk the fingers away. Chin can drop in. And then I want you to tilt the tailbone. You can walk those fingers beside your hips. Opening the collarbone, lifting the chin up. And then on the breath out, we'll just find the middle. Face okay, it, bones down, crown lifted. Arms will rest beside you. Let's reach the right arm up, take a deep breath in. Reach a little higher, press your right sit bone down. As you exhale, bend to your left. Getting that left palm down, left shoulder away from the ear. Breathe into the right side. 
And then take your gaze down to the ground as you breathe out. Breathe into the right ribs, right armpit, right fingers. Soften the left shoulder, the jaw. And then we'll add an inhale. Pull the right shoulder back, looking forward and up. And then as you exhale, looking forward and down, bring that right shoulder forward. So we're isolating movement up to this shoulder mostly. Doesn't mean there's nothing going on with your bottom shoulder. But the inhale back and the exhale forward. Let's do three more of those. Breathing in. Breathing out. Noticing where your gaze goes, you might start to press it, twist it further back. Looking over the shoulder on the inhale and over the shoulder back behind you on the exhale. Last one, breathing in. As you breathe out, come forward, bring that right hand to your left knee and walk your left hand a little bit further behind you, sitting up taller, inhale. Twisting, looking behind you, exhale. You can even wrap that left arm and just rest it, your back of your hand on that right hip crease. Breathe in. Dropping the chin if you like, breathe out. One more inhale. Notice where the tension stretch in, kind of soften. And as you exhale, lifting the chin, come through center. Let's open up the legs, give them a little, little shake, shake, shake. And then recross. You try to have your non dominant cross, so the opposite leg in front. You may have to kind of check it out. It's like, oh, is this? Is this not? Um, and then we'll walk those hands beside us. Let's take that tuck again. You can walk the hands out, tuck the chin in. And then in, inhale. Let's open the belly, tilt the pelvis, maybe lift the chin up. Walk those hands in. They might even press into the ground a little bit. And then a breath out as you find a neutral. Crown lifted, sit bones rooted. Right hand's going to stay down as you inhale, lift the left arm up. And then reach a little higher, plugging the left sit bone in. As you exhale, bending to your right, let that right palm soften, the right shoulder soften. I want to play with it a little. I like to like balance here a little. So you feel where you've got that opening on the left side, left ribs, but they're still releasing. You can look down to encourage that right side to soften. Allow your right palm to rest. Breathe in. Breathe out. And then we're gonna add those movements. You'll inhale, start to bring that left shoulder back. Looking up. And then using the breath out to look forward and down. Inhale back, opening the front of the left shoulder, exhale opening back behind and around the shoulder blade. Breathing in, let your twist in your neck assist you in this. Maybe you go a little longer when the upper body stops moving, the neck still keeps rotating. Breathing in, last one. Breathe out, bring that right, that left shoulder forward and the hand to that right knee. You'll hold on lightly as you inhale, sit up tall, bring the right hand behind you. you might just be on your fingertips touching the ground, or you can even wrap that right arm around the back. The back of that right hand pressing into the outer left hip, side of the hip. You want to take it into the neck and shoulders. You can drop the chin towards the shoulder. Take one more big inhale. Exhale. Soften and then breathe in. Nicely done. Just shake it all out to might feel good to just kind of give everything a little wiggle. Um, and let's take another pigeon. Okay, so I want to take this to it is. Let's go on to our top back. Let's go to seated uh, forward folding pigeon. So we're gonna come to a table. I want you to bring your props really close by. From table, you have like a little stir too, that might be nice. You're gonna bring your hands um, in 
front of your shoulders slightly, and then you're going to reach that right knee all the way towards that right wrist. Bring your right foot a little closer to the middle of your mat, and then just gently, so slowly, scoot your left leg back. This is maybe where you would bite a blanket. I like blankets because you can change how, how tall they are, and it's still soft underneath the hips. Um, but work with what you've got, and then blocks. So getting blocks underneath the elbows, maybe you drop the chin in. You may make a little pillow for your head. Sometimes it's nice to add a little of a heel of your hands to the back of the eyes, palming more like your brow bones, cupping those. It might feel nice to kind of cup the eyes. Um, but if your shoulders start to shrug, no, that's natural. All right, and we'll just soften them away. And that might mean you just need to go a little further down or sit a little taller up. Your degree to how you do this. And if you want to take it to that outer right hip a little bit more, I'm going to encourage you to take your props slightly to the left. And we'll stay for, I will stay for a little bit. So get comfortable. Notice what you feel, notice your breath. As time goes on, check in. Where do you feel the sensations? Where don't you? What's the breath like? Take five more cycles of breath. We follow the breath progression in the inhale as we fill from low back to upper back. The exhale as we release from chest down to the belly. Notice anything that's Evolve as you've spent time here, anything that's changed, anything that's consistent that stayed the same. Last round of breath. There's so you'll walk the hands in on the inhale. Now I'm just going to suggest coming to your bellies. Okay, so um, you just take that right leg back. Oh, come on down. You can let the arms come out to the side, rest on one ear, forehead, whatever feels right. Let's take a deep, deep breath in. And a full breath out. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Pick up your head, turn it to the other side. Two more cycles of breath, just like that. Filling up. Feel your belly press into the ground. Breathe out. One more inhale. And exhale. Let's bring our hands under our shoulders, press our hips back to our heels. Sign child's pose for just a few breaths. Breathing in, fill, fill, fill. And breathe out. Okay, 
one more pigeon, and then we'll find child's pose, and then we'll call it onto our backs. So, finding your same build here, hands slightly forward of the shoulders, scoot that left knee closer than you can to that left wrist, and bringing the foot more to the middle. And you'll slide that right leg back to your degree. You'll add the props in that feel right. As high as you'd like to make up, know that this side might look very similar or might be quite different from the other, okay? And there's not a right or wrong to it. It just is. And settle in. Maybe support the head for a few rounds, you know. With some time, you might evolve the shape, go a little deeper, come a little taller. I'm not here a whole, a whole heck of a long time. Just more than we maybe spend in other classes, but. Breathing through it. Take our last five cycles of breath here. This is how it feels. So it stays the same after time was was a little different. Progress of the pose. Breath. The thought patterns. Big, big inhale, fill, fill, fill. Expand, 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 and exhale, let it go. Walk your hands in, come on up tall. Let your left leg slide back to meet your right. Once again, you can let the arms go out. You can bring them beside you, turn the palms up. Rest on an ear, take those two cycles of breath in and out. Encourage you to sigh it out, just that. The audible uh, trigger to the mind and the body. It's time to soften, to let go, take a deep breath in. And then switch to the other ear after the exhale. Take two cycles of breath on the other side, noticing the, the subtle experience. Breath steady in and out. So we're going to build up child's pose. And it's it can be um, a lot. I like to bring, when we hold these child's pose, the feet slightly wider just so there's like a block I can kind of sit on. And even a block in front of me, you can bring a blanket on top of that block. And I actually like to bring my arms on the, so the blanket goes, I don't know if you can see this, but my blanket actually goes around it and there's a little, little bit of blanket on each side of the block. And then that way my arms are slightly lifted. I'm gonna rest my head on the block, just the edge of it. And then my hips are supported by a block beneath it. And maybe after a minute, you move the block that's underneath your hips and you go a little lower and you might even drop your head between your arms. So, um, 
how you want to do this, please feel free to do so. Know that in a minute, as the time progresses and the pose, we're still in it, and we might look to change it, move it. This is a lot on your knees. You can always do this on your back, just hugging the knees in like a wind relieving pose. Flipped over is Charles' pose. So make it your own. Maybe turn those palms slightly up. I find more often in this pose, especially holding it, it feels good to have something under the head. Um, just to allow those tops of the shoulders to melt away a little bit. Find your breath, allow it to flow. Notice any tension that might have crept in to the jaw, the scalp, the hips, the core. Around the armpits and shoulders. Eventually it might feel nice to reach your arms back behind you. You can even move the block out from under your hips, bringing your legs a little closer together, rounding yourself out. Follow that breath as it travels from your low back into the shoulders. Let's take three more cycles of it. Breathe in deeply into the back of your lungs. Full exhale to breathe out and then slowly you'll come up to seated. Swing your legs around, grab your props. Um, we're gonna come up to our backs, but let's just get one more of those reverse tables. So feet plant, fingers behind or hands behind the hips, fingers pointing to the waist, looking forward, just lift your hips up, press into the hands, into the feet. Maybe rock a little, notice where your weight is, moves in your hands and feet. Is there kind of effort or is there effort? Maybe you don't have to even look up and look back if that if you're like feeling it. Let's take one more inhale. You're looking back or up, bring your chin to your chest. Exhale, let's lower it down. You can keep your blocks beside you. You can bring your blanket behind you or under your head. Um, you have a bolster. Might be nice to keep one down by your legs. We're gonna just invert the legs for three minutes. Um, at the end of the night, it's like my favorite thing to do. So you can just do this on the ground. 
Head and shoulders can be supported by a blanket. And you can just lift the legs up. I like a slight elevation. So the hips, feet press into the ground, block on the lowest setting underneath the sacrum, one leg up followed by the other, extend one followed by the other. Point your flex three, five, seven times, roll the ankles both directions. Um, the arms might come out slightly. Your shoulders are on the blanket, the opening up the armpits might feel good, reaching the arms back towards the corners of the room might feel good. You may realize that you suddenly need to move the block up or down. So um, be patient with it and we'll start our three minutes now. Steady breath in, steady breath out. Try not to do a lot of work here, let the block do all the work. I saw enjoy. Close. Notice the time where the thoughts go, what the patterns of the breath are. More than halfway there. Last five cycles of breath. Filling, filling, filling with the inhale. Softening, letting go with the exhale. And finding a little more room on the next breath in. And a little more to let go on the breath out. Last one. Just bend one knee into your chest, followed by the other. Plant one foot down, followed by the other. Let's lift the hips up off of the block with the feet on the ground. And then lower the hips back down, resist the urge to hug the knees in. We're gonna start where we, we're gonna end where we started. So with the hips on the ground, walk your feet a little further apart. Bring your knees together. And then let's just give ourselves a big hug with the arms around the chest. Yes. Take two cycles of breath. Feel the back of your heart press into the ground and use the exhale to soften jaw, shoulders. One more time, a deep breath in. Exhale, let go, switch which arms on top. Give yourself that gentle hug, self love, a breath in. Full breath out. Last one, a deep, deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. Might be 
it feel nice to walk your feet together. Let your arms fall beside you. You can bring blocks underneath the back of the hands, bolster behind the knees. You can reach the legs to the corners of your mat, to blanket to drape over you, maybe socks on your feet. There is this progression of our practice. Um, you know, we happen to start and end in the same pose-ish, right? We'll take Shavasana formally, but um, all the things that happen in between leading us from the start to here towards the end, into the end. And then there's the progress of our practice uh, every time we come to our mat. One more formal opportunity to make shapes, take breath, check in. And then maybe the progression looks like taking it into the rest of our lives, starting to bring that mindfulness, the check-in, the intention, doing things with attention and our presence. And maybe, you know, the greatest progression, the krama, the progress of our practice is to come back to our wholeness, to come back to our fullness. Of who we are and who we've always been. These full and abundant beings. Uh, your breath to be steady. I'm just going to hold this space for us for a few minutes. You always have your breath. And in those moments, you catch yourself wandering off, knowing that progress is actually that, that acknowledgement, that observation that you're at a different place, a different time. Seeing yourself and catching yourself, observing, and then graciously coming back. Feeling this moment, your body, your breath, Take a deep, deep breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, steady. Exhale, steady. And then slowly allow that awareness to spread from your breath out to the Parts of the body, the toes, the crown, the fingers. Adding stretches and movements that work for you, progressing them, building them, 
adding them or maybe just staying still for a little while longer. And then within a few breaths, coming to your side and then up to seated with the comfortable and tall spine. Might feel nice to kind of wiggle those shoulders, take that chin to your chest, roll out the neck. Finding those sit bones rooted, the crown lifted and the palms connected together in the center over the heart. Let's just bring to mind something we're grateful for today, the seed of gratitude. Holding it here with us in this moment, And let's think of one more thing we're grateful for. And one last thing, a third thing we're grateful for. A thing, a person, a place, a moment, or a breath, whatever it is. This practice of gratitude in itself encourages us to lead longer, healthier, happier lives. Bowing forward to seal your practice. Namaste.